Welcome guys. This is obviously a last minute decision on my part today. Honestly, I was like thinking day off, but then I was like, I know a lot of people um, want to keep getting after it. And I, don't want, I want to make sure I continue to support those people. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. And so here we are. Uh, super last minute, obviously. Uh, we started like maybe two minutes, maybe actually less, so certain one minute. Plan, quick warm up, mostly with the ball, a little bit of uh, agility slash quickness. Um, working on reaction. And then after that, we're gonna go into a combination of technical and um, physical. All right, should be like 20 minutes, 25 max. Uh, we'll always, as always, from the four o'clock grind, those that remember, we're gonna finish with, uh, finish with core. All right, so let's get it going in like two minutes up, Sophia. What's up, Nara? Jordan, welcome. These are the people that are hardcore right here. People that like, you know what? Put this online, what, 30 minutes ago? And they're like, let's do it. Um, so let's get after it to start. To start, just any sort of dribbling you want with your ball in your space, okay? And go any sort of dribbling you want. Lots of touches. Listen to me as I make changes. Every 30 seconds, we're gonna do something different for the first couple minutes. So right now, it's just free dribbling. Okay, first, at the 30 second mark, we're gonna do toe taps as fast as you can, 20. Okay, so when I say go, 20 toe taps as fast as you can. Ready, and go. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Anyone beat me, maybe? Still free dribbling, whatever I want. Mix it up, both feet, all parts of the foot. Okay, next we do the same thing, but with boxes. Five seconds, so just going 20 boxes as fast as you can. Ready, go. 20, time. Back to the dribbling. One more minute free dribbling. If you don't know what to do, always have to mix them like inside, outside. Going in all sides of the foot. Inside, outside, bottom. Some turns. As well. And toe taps again, ready, go, 20. Tell you what, it doesn't take much to get warm if you're moving. After doing this, try to keep your eyes up, just be more comfortable with the ball at your feet while keeping your eyes up. I'll tell you what, I'm a little bit sore from that yoga session a couple days ago. I'm not sure if you guys are. Boxes, ready, and go, 20. And good. Good, let's get a little two minutes just movement. Let's get a little bit of stretching, then we'll go into a little quickness, and we'll get after it. And twisting this time, so twisting into it. Might have some more indoor workouts the next couple days. And we're gonna lift leg lifts here, knee drive. So leg lifts, knee drive, leg lifts. Knee drive, leg lifts. Doesn't look like it's very promising to have trainings over the weekend based on the air condition. Close down now. And go to a couple calf pillars to stretch. So you walk out. Do one push up, foot next to hand, open the sky, open the sky, step back, reverse it. Let's do two each way. Those of me that I'm glad you did, I'm glad I made it. Again, this is something like, just that mindset piece, we're always trying to train, no question. We want to train the physical, technical side, tactical side, but you got to train that mental side. Sometimes you don't want to do things, but you still got to get through it because you have goals. And you need to take the proper steps to accomplish those goals. That includes putting workout in when you maybe don't feel like it. Okay, next, how's it going to work? A little reaction exercise. I'm going to point to my right or left or up. 
So it's just gonna be quick feet, whichever way I point, you're just gonna twist that direction. So it's here, point there, and twist, twist. Better go up, this is jump, soft land. Okay, and start. Soft land, reacting. Quick feet. Soft land, come down. Ten more seconds. And good. Let's do it. Technical part. First part's gonna be boxes, 30 seconds. Starting with just regular boxes, and then you can mix up forward, backwards, side to side. Okay? So that's first. Next, we're doing the smile. Looks like that. So it's pull back with one foot, the outside foot, inside, inside, pull back, inside, inside. So it's like kind of combining a pull back with that box. 30 seconds there. Oh, last one technical is going to be inside the foot, outside the foot, roll trap. Inside, outside, roll trap. Then so you're going the outside now. Inside, outside, roll trap. Inside, outside, roll trap. Inside, outside, roll trap. Let's see how fast you get one of the next. Okay? Let's start with boxes. Ready? Go. Try to keep your eyes up. As you get comfortable. Oh, you can spin around the circles too. Hopefully better than me. But keep the ball underneath you with quick feet. Right forward, spinning directions. Make sure it's a little wider. Just mix it up. Close and tight. This key couple ball and good smile. Try and keep your eyes up until you come from pull back inside, inside, pull back, inside, inside, pull back, inside, inside, pull back, inside, inside. 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 Again, try to keep your eyes up. Switching every repetition. Just like that one, so you can keep your eyes up. Excellent. Make sure you're using that lower half of your knee to quickly manipulate the ball from the inside and the outside. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and good. Put the ball away. First, oy, first exercise is going to be step back, lunge, knee drive. Step back, lunge, knee drive. This is great for working on balance, single leg strength, core. Make sure you're in control with that knee drive. Stepping back, knee drive. I like to have my arms work at the same time. Works on running form. Keep my chest upright, make sure I'm not falling down like that. Arms from the side. If you need to, just have your waist there, it's fine. But keep my body upright. And good switch. If you're switching every time, then just keep going. Good control. Hold at the top for like a half second, maybe even a second count. Back knee almost touches the ground, but it doesn't. Okay, next one we're gonna do push up with shoulder taps. So you're gonna push up, shoulder taps, keep that stomach pointed towards the ground when you're tapping your shoulder. And go. Let's push up, stomach pointed towards the ground. Push up. My feet are a little bit wider than the shoulder width. Push up. Side point towards the ground. Push up. We're doing three rounds of this, by the way. The technical and the physical. Next one's be back boat, so you're on your stomach. Three, two, one. On your stomach, onto your side. Squeeze your shoulders together. My feet are off the ground, squeezing my shoulders together. It's like, I'll hold the opposite. Six seconds. And good. 
pump up. Now let's do bound RDL. Bound, stick landing, RDL. Bound, stick landing, RDL. Bound, stick landing. Try to keep that leg straight, that back leg straight. As they press down. Boom. Keep going. Almost there. Keep going, guys. Who's next? Forgot. Perfect. And good. Next one. It's me up. Jump to one foot land. Okay? Jump to one foot land. Alright, starting not too high jump. But make sure when I'm sticking that landing, I'm landing softly, and that knee stays in line. In line, doesn't come inside. So if you need to not jump as high as start, it's fine. Jump, soft land. Okay, after this, we're going back to technical. And good, back to boxes. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Spinning, keeping your eyes up. If you want, you can add this piece in. Boom, so the box, and I fake over the box, go around the ball. Oh, try to get my eyes up. Mistake. So the box, around the ball. And then keep going in different directions. Forward, backward. Side to side, spinning. And good, smile. Pull back inside, inside. Pull back inside. Clean. Almost there. And good, next one. Inside, outside, roll trap. Inside, outside, roll trap. Inside, outside. Roll trap. Inside, roll trap. Inside, roll trap. Get that ball close to you. Underneath the side you're going to, you're working with. Not too far in front of you. And good. Ball away. Step backs, knee drives. So the second round, one, and three, and then we got our car work. Nice and control. For those that are working out right now, good stuff. I know it's short notice, but again, we just want to help players in any and all ways we can. So if that means putting on a little bit of a 20 minute workout last minute, so be it. Switch. This stuff though, right? A reminder from the four o'clock grind, a lot of these movements, this is stuff you can do on your own. I like giving you ideas, but once you start taking ownership, and you start maybe pulling some of these pieces together for your own workouts, and you're holding yourself accountable, that's huge. And good. Let's go push some shoulder taps. If I would do that though, I'd find something to do it with. So like have an accountability partner, a teammate, and like, hey, this is the work I did. Or hey, let's do this four o'clock on FaceTime. So you guys hold each other accountable. Just continue to get after it. And continue to stay on the right course to accomplish your goals. And get back boat. Go. This one's more like controlled. I'm not trying to look too high up. Mainly because I honestly haven't done this in so long. So if it really overextended right now, I'm trying really, really hard. Back's gonna be sore. Instead, just keeping good form. Legs off the ground, chest off the ground, shoulders back. Continue to breathe. And good. Pop up. Auto bounce to RDL. Stick that landing.
Well, sir, we got last one. I think my timer just messed up. And good, jump, soft land. Jump, soft land. My timer just went to 22 minutes and I don't think we're that far in. That's weird. Again, key here, soft land. Make sure that knee stays in line. With your foot. Doesn't come inside. Okay, ready. And good. Last one. Let's do it. Boxes. Really work keeping the eyes up on this one. And going different directions. And going different speeds. Make feet close together. And then feet wider. Keep your eyes up so you can feel the ball. If you're not looking at it, you can just feel it. And good smile. Same concept here. Try to keep your eyes up. And just feeling the ball from one foot to the next, from one part of the foot to the other part. Let's see how wide you can go. Let's go as wide now. Like that. That's super wide. Like a lane change to beat somebody. Get out of tight space. Let's see how wide you can go. Get that ball in front of you. See how smooth the transition go from one foot to the next. And good. Inside outside. Roll trap. Inside outside. Roll trap. So you can go through all four movements. Three movements with three touches one foot fast. Inside outside. Roll trap. Inside outside. Roll trap. Inside outside. Roll trap. Inside outside. Roll trap. Inside outside. Oh, yeah. Trying to do open up. Make mistake. Inside outside. Roll trap. And good. RDLs. Let's go. Step back lunge. Oh, sorry, knee drive. My bad. Step back lunge. Knee drive. Step back lunge. Knee drive. Again, great exercise. Building certain length strength. Balance. Core. Last round, let's finish it up. And then we got a little core. And we're good to go. Enjoy your Friday night. And switch. Although with COVID and fires, I don't know what enjoying Friday night looks like. Netflix, maybe video games, maybe FaceTime friends. Keep going, keep going, let's get through this. Almost there. Anytime it's hard when I'm working out, think about what you've already done. All right, we're on the third round right now. Switch. So you've already done two rounds. It's the last round. And if you're still like not that close to the end, just focus on finishing that, that, that set. So it's just 30 seconds of work. You can do 30 seconds of any of these exercises. Again, you can do 30 seconds of any of these exercises. So just keep working. Set up small goals, small wins. And also change your perspective to help make it a little bit easier. And good. Back up. So I used to like running outside regularly. Things I used to do to help me push through when I was tired. If you're running outside, just look at like something in your immediate proximity that you're looking to get to. So if I'm running in the street, like maybe a street light or a, a sign or to a curb. And then your goal is just to get to that. And then once you get to that point, just put your next point a little bit, like same distance away. So like, okay, get to the sign. Okay, get to the corner. Okay, get to the next street. And good, pop up. Cause then you're setting yourself up to win constantly. Like all I do is get to that sign. Well, I just did that. All right, all I need to do is get to that street. Well, I did that. Focus on good form here. Nice, good jump, soft land. And good. Two foot jump, one foot land. Two foot jump, one foot land. Last one here. Ten seconds left. And time. 
time. Right away down the ground. Let's get into the core right away. First one, just all hold. I'm squeezing your stomach and pushing your lower back into the ground. It's been too long. Okay, wall hold here. We're gonna go over, under. All right, ready? And then go. Still pushing that lower back in the ground. Still squeezing my stomach. And up, down, up, down. One more of these variations, and then we'll change the movement. Okay, we're gonna do rows. Stay up if you can. Boom, there, out, and out, and so I'm bending my waist as my knees come in. Legs are off the ground the entire time. And good. Side plank now. Feet are staggered. Make sure this arm isn't way up there. See, it's like directly underneath me. It's like 90 degrees from the ground to my arm. Number one, number one mistake I see is kids on their arm, 90 degrees. Okay, if we can, lift that top leg. Let's go pulse it so up, down. Just like that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On 10, we're gonna hold it up. Nine, 10, hold up. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch sides. Same thing opposite. So make sure that arm's not too far forward. Should be about 90 degrees here. Okay, let's do those pauses. 10, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On 10, we hold. Nine, 10, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, front plank out. Okay, we're gonna do mountain climbers. So look like this, knee up, and then back, just like that. Go, at your own pace. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Same thing, but pauses, two seconds, and then switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. My knee that's up is not touching the ground. Switch, last one on each side. Two. And same thing, cross body now. Go, cross body. So knee to opposite elbow. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Last four. One, two, three, two. Last one. And rest. Whew. So we're guys, let's work on a little bit of hip flexibility right now. So let's get back in that pigeon. Man, it got warm. What's in here? 86 in my garage right now. So drop it down to the ground, just put as high as you can. Back leg's nice, just looking flat, flat to the ground. So my thighs flat to the ground, it's not open up to the side. And then drop down here. Good work guys, that was good. My computer stopped, so I'm not sure exactly how long I went. Although I don't think the timer was right. We'll do a couple stretches here, and then you're good. I'll put this on the story, or on the IGTV, whatever it is. If you don't train this weekend, this would be a great one to revisit. Did some simple dribbling to start, just fun stuff. Switch, remember mixing those competitions too. If you do it again, so you can beat me. So you can beat me to 20 toe shots, 20 boxes. And then from there, after the movement stretching piece, did a little bit of a reaction exercise. So you can make sure where I pointed, you're working to turn your hips, and also work on the jump. And then from there, we worked on combination of technical and physical uh, little workout. So revisit this over the next couple days. Um, I thought it was good. And then finish with core. It was good, well balanced, doesn't take much space. And it's also, like obviously with the uh, weather, I don't know if we're gonna be back in the field anytime soon, anybody that is. So get after it while you still can, any way you can. 
All right? Good, guys. That's all I got. Enjoy the weekend. Good stuff, guys. You got after it. Love it. Short notice and all. Good work.